Hey, it's Dr. Steve. Just coming to you in phase one of the quarantine removal, which is great. How exciting um, to finally see that we're progressing through this and going uh, steps towards normal, which is wonderful. Uh, wonderful weather, great weekend coming up, the holiday weekend. Um, that's what I want to talk to you about is getting out there uh, now that we're in phase one, you know, lifting some restrictions, um, not necessarily going crazy with, you know, parties and all that stuff, but realizing that things are getting a little safer, still practice some um, social distancing. But mostly with this nice weather and especially with the Memorial Day weekend, um, I want to talk to you about um, taking it a little bit easy, right? It's For most of us, we haven't been doing a lot of gardening for months now. Um, we haven't been outside walking and exercising and um, doing all the fun things that this weather uh, brings to us here in central New York. So uh, certainly I, I want you out there and, and having fun and, and just enjoying your life and enjoying this weather, um, breaking free of the house. But you know, when you're gardening, make sure you're doing it in little doses, maybe 20 minutes, half an hour, get up, walk around, uh, move around, do something different. Um, come back to it for another half an hour, 20 minutes, um, as opposed to being bent over for six hours and then realizing, oh, now I can't stand up. Um, we definitely want to, you know, get out for walks. But if you haven't been very active, you know, make those walks reasonable. Maybe just walk for time, not distance, right? We all like to walk for 10 miles or, um, but how about just walking for five minutes or 10 minutes, however far that gets you. It doesn't have to be a race just to get some mobility back and get some strength and movement. Um, any amount of walking and, and activity is good for us. Uh, good for us physically, cardiovascularly, good for us um, mentally, just to get out there and, and enjoy the weather and, and maybe uh, burn off a little bit of that stress. Um, when we get out and hopefully people will be enjoying their family and friends for Memorial Day barbecues and stuff, remember to try to you know, limit the numbers or or uh, keep a little distance from people that you haven't been exposed to very often or very much. But definitely enjoy yourself and have some fun. We've all been you know, suffering through this um, to different degrees, some more than others. But now as we come back to a more normal state, we all wanna make sure we're able to enjoy it fully and safely. Uh, one of my um, middle school English teachers um, one of his favorite sayings was, take it easy, but take it. And that's my recommendation for you today, is to get out there, uh, live that life that's good for you. Just remember to kind of take it easy, make sure you're doing your stretches in between activities. Uh, if you do overdo and you feel like, uh-oh, where's Dr. Steve? Um, first thing I would tell you to do is do some of the stretches we gave you. Uh, simple hamstring stretches of its low back, knees to chest, um, range of motion of the neck, but definitely get on your wedges, uh, restoring that curve uh, and getting that curve correction right in there when you first aggravate it can really make some big changes and help those muscles not tense up so much. Um, you certainly use ice if you do have some kind of strain, a sprain, injury, uh, because within the, the first 24 hours there's going to be a huge inflammatory process, so we want to modify that with ice. Um, and then after that, we can talk about adding in some heat. Uh, certainly get you in here as quickly as you can and check it out and see what you did to yourself. Um, so we can get that straightened out rather than wait in 10 days and hope that it was going to go away. And basically all it does is lock up even more. Um, so we want to be smart, but we want to have fun. We want to enjoy this weather. Um, you know, we're here uh, as, the, as we go through the phases, whenever you're comfortable, I mean, I, obviously a bunch of you are already coming in and have been coming in and consistently coming in, um, not only for your musculoskeletal injuries and problems, but more importantly for your wellness and, and for your immune system to balance that out. And that's so important. Um, but for the people who have been away for a little bit, um, when you're ready as we go through phase one and then phase two, um, if you wanna come in and get checked out, if you wanna call me on the phone and talk about what we're doing, to make sure everybody's safe and, and um, secure. I uh, would definitely do that. Otherwise, just enjoy yourself. And when you're ready, we're gonna be here. We're only a phone call away anytime you need to make an appointment. Um, I'd love to see you. I love seeing the people we've been seeing. 
you guys make my life all worth it. You really do. Um, I love I love what I do, and I love it what I do because of you. So um, I just want to get this little message of safety out there to you about not overdoing, not hurting yourself. Listen, I want to see you, but I don't want to see you because you hurt yourself. Um, so take it, but take it easy.